Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about The Darjeeling Limited and this movie is directed by Wes Anderson and it came out in 2007 starring Owen Wilson, Jason Schwartzman, Adrian Brody and I've seen this movie once before and I didn't really connect with it all that much and I think it was like early on when I was first discovering Wes Anderson films and I was just thinking to myself this is not as good as something like Moonrise Kingdom and I just found it to be kind of dull and uninteresting but I decided to give it a second chance because it was the only Wes Anderson feature film that I haven't seen yet and I've watched it and I thought it was pretty great actually <laughs> a lot better than I had remembered it I found it to be funny and the opening scene to this movie had a lot of energy to it and I thought it was a great way to open the film with like Bill Murray being late for a train and I love that, and I love that uh, the train is called the Darjeeling Limited. <laughs> that was, like, something that I picked up on, and I didn't really remember much about this movie. So uh, much of uh, the events that happened in this uh, film uh, were a surprise to me because I barely remembered anything about it, and uh, that definitely enhanced my experience. And also, before watching this movie, I uh, watched the short film Hotel Chevalier, if I pronounced that correctly, probably not. <laughs> I liked that to short and it's basically like a prequel to this movie, which I had no idea. And while I wouldn't say it's necessary to watch that movie before this, it does give you a little bit of context. I'll say that much. And there are some things from that short film that tie into this movie, for sure. And so for me personally, I think my experience was enhanced a little bit because I watched that short. I would recommend that short. The performances were pretty strong from everyone, and I really like the characters. And at first, they're not really all that likable, but as the movie progresses, they start to develop the characters, and they become more likable as the movie goes along. And I'll say this much, I do like the second half better than the first half, because the first half, I was just thinking to myself, okay, that's kind of funny. But as the movie went along, I was... Uh, starting to enjoy it because things were starting to be developed and I was like okay this is starting to really work for me and I imagine if I were to see this movie again I would probably love it a lot more and I did enjoy the kind of fights that our main characters had those were pretty funny and I like the music to this movie I thought it was memorable and complimented the film and overall, uh, there were uh, lots of really solid scenes in this movie, with uh, a few of them uh, being incredibly memorable. Like, uh, there are scenes uh, from this movie uh, that I will definitely be remembering for the movie. Like, uh, those are the standout scenes in the film. Like, I don't want to say what they are because I don't want to spoil anything because they're pretty great scenes. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't really say too much. And just like uh, almost all of uh, Wes Anderson films, it's uh, very well shot, and uh, it's uh, all shot very symmetrical, except for uh, his first film, uh, Bottle Rocket, where you don't really get too much of that. Like, it doesn't really feel much like a Wes Anderson film, probably mostly because it's his first feature film. But after that point, uh, he really started to figure out his style, and it really shows, and it definitely complements each of his movies. And all in all, I found uh, the characters to be likable, the story to be great, and uh, without spoiling anything, the characters have uh, wonderful arcs. And there's a lot to, to dig in, and uh, the characters are very rich and interesting. They're the best part of the movie, along with the dialogue. I love uh, Wes Anderson dialogue and his comedy and how it's quirky, so... Everything that I love about uh, Wes Anderson films is still in this movie. Just uh, there's other uh, films that he's made that I prefer. Like I do think Moonrise Kingdom is better and The Grand Budapest Hotel is amazing. But with that uh, being said, this was a great experience. And, uh, and also uh, for the record, uh, immediately after watching uh, this movie, I also rewatched Asteroid City, uh, hoping to see... Maybe there will be things in that movie that I'll see now that'll make it improved upon a second viewing. And that one, not really as much, unfortunately, but perhaps another day. Maybe one day I will love it, but that time hasn't come yet, unfortunately. So 
for now, uh, this is uh, going to be categorized as one of the films from Wes Anderson that I love, which is a lot. I love almost all of his movies. So definitely check this movie out whenever you get the chance. And with all that being said, I'm going to give The Darjeeling Limited an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of The Darjeeling Limited and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation and I'll see you when I get my next review up and that is going to be for Bone Tomahawk. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching and have a great day.